Surviving the Crypto Meltdown with Drips Network and the Animal Farm. Let's get into it. Welcome to DeFi Crypto Talk, where you talk everything DeFi and cryptocurrency space. For all my subscribers out there, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, welcome. So as you can see, the drip price is currently at $2.20. We've been in a $2 range for most of the day and uh, somewhat of yesterday as well. So um, not too much of an update there. As you all know, there's a lot of things going on outside of the drip, you know, outside of drip that I think are affecting the price and uh, all the prices in crypto for that matter. So, um, you know, I'm just taking the opportunity at this time to build my drip faucet bag, you know, trying to accumulate much drip as I can because I know eventually we will have that turnaround. And in my opinion, I believe it's a great time. And I've said this in previous videos, if you go, even if we go down to a dollar, um, you know, less than a dollar, I'm still going to accumulate because I believe in it. And, uh, you know, you can't beat just a 1% daily. So, uh, feeling pretty good there. Now, looking at my faucet, so just shy of 1,600 deposited. I actually hydrated some about 22 earlier today. So, uh, feeling good about that. And then I'm still uh, using my strategy of taking money out of, uh, you know, the garden once in a while here and there and, and putting it into the faucet. So overall, feeling pretty good about the faucet. And I know, you know, again, turbulent times, but I believe we will definitely, you know, bounce back and see better days uh, in the drip network uh, and overall in the crypto space. So uh, feeling pretty good about drip. Now, moving on to <coughs> the animal farm. So 131 million is uh, uh, TVL. So not too bad there. I think that was slightly down, but overall uh, still 130 million, holding pretty strong too, considering what's going on outside and you know people selling. So uh, looks pretty good, and uh, obviously a big confidence booster knowing that you know the animal farm has been able to hold this for all this while. So you have to think what happens when you know we eventually hit that bull market. If we continue to hold strong, then I believe the sky's the limit for the animal farm. Uh, plus all the utilities that Forex had uh, talked about in his AMA. So um, let's see the pig token sitting at $108 and then the dogs token sitting at $54. So um, overall just loving being in the uh, animal farm. Now as far as the garden's concerned, so still taking a hit. Uh, I think now I believe this is a low for us in the garden. Uh, comment down below if you uh, believe that's the case as well. But I think this is a low for a garden. 356 thousand total lp locked um so again not worried about that i'm going to continue to uh, build my garden up because uh, i know we'll eventually uh, see a turnaround in my opinion uh, so not too much of a concern there as far as my uh, plants are grown so i still have sitting at 5.2 million and then i have 29 here that i need to go ahead and uh, i'll probably just sell these as well um, just so i can keep building up my faucet and uh, get past that eight to get 1,600, and then after that, I'll go ahead and start reinvesting until I get to six million. But um, overall, loving the garden, you know, still getting paid each and every day, just like the faucet. And uh, you know, I'm going to continue to be heavy, heavily invested in both until uh, you know, obviously, we see better days ahead. And even then, I will continue to invest because uh, I just believe in the protocol and the long term future of it. Now, as far as my piggy bank's concerned, I have not compounded anything uh, today but as you can see my stakes are slowly slowly growing here um, so I will go ahead and uh, compound all these today and just keep on my piggy bank and try to build that back up uh, to its previous glory days uh, moving on so uh, as far as my daily earnings so in the garden we're looking at about $19 per day so it took a little hit there let me try to do a refresh I think it's about 19 yep 1935 and the drip token I believe we're in the 40s yesterday uh, drip token uh, sent about $35 per day and then the piggy bank uh, sitting at let's see roughly $1.66 uh, one thing I would like to say too so <clears throat> in drip I mean I haven't invested like outside funds as in like me pulling out money and putting into it for a while and even during everything that's going on right now uh, and a lot of you have seen it with FTX and you know, seems like something's popping up each and every day. Now they're, th you know, going on TV and talking about putting more regulation and so on and so forth. Uh, even with that, I mean, we're still, regardless, still going to get paid this uh, 1%, uh, you know, daily that we're getting. So, I mean, it's, it's nice to see, uh, even though it's going down, it's still nice to see that we're still getting, uh, you know, paid that much uh, each and every day. That including, you know, what's coming out of the garden and then the piggy bank as well. So, feeling pretty good about that. Now, uh, new players today. So day ends in about 40 minutes. 
um, and we only have about 65 players so I'll take it is better than zero so uh, 65 there's 65 more opportunities to get the word of drip out there so uh, feeling pretty good about that so I think that overall I mean it, it's it's nice to see it's definitely nice to see that uh, you know still getting some players um, especially again you know I keep referencing it but you know because so, it's just such a big thing that's going on uh, what's happening on the outside world you know uh, outside the crypto or well, inside the crypto space with FTX and you know seems like there's just so much happening uh, everything a lot of new things are popping up each and every day so um, some players are better than no players at all and I believe we'll weather the storm I absolutely believe we're gonna weather the storm as long as drip keeps paying the one percent and the animal farm keeps paying out like it does and Forex keeps you know uh, putting some innovations out there and bettering the pl both platforms I mean I, I I see this going through the long run and the ones that can survive the crypto winter and uh, survive at least what's going on right now I think are gonna flourish once uh, you know the tides turn and then all the money starts going back in so um, I'm excited for the future and I cannot wait to see you know where we end up this time next year you know who knows where we'll be at but uh, I definitely believe a lot higher than where we're at right now so uh, moving on so surviving <laughs> to the point of the video so surviving the crypto meltdown so as all of you are aware a lot of things have been going on in the crypto space um, so we had <coughs> FTX and this was something that was new that I had no idea about but uh, BlockFi I guess was tied to XTX, ST, uh, FTX excuse me so they had to pause client withdrawals um, and then out of left field crypto.com accidentally sent 400 million Ethereum to the wrong address uh, CEO calls out FUD apparently they got the money back but now they don't know if it was the exact amount they 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 had sent over and that went to get IO so a lot of weird things are going on right now <clears throat> and it's very very easy to look at these things and you know unfortunately in the crypto space and uh, especially from what I've seen previously in the past um, you know all the bad things seem to get pushed up a lot higher um, and you know get more recognition than anything else a lot of the good stuff that the community wants and you know you see it on the forums you see it on chats uh, you know not, a lot of that stuff doesn't really get you know uh, pushed pushed in the news as much but any any kind of FUD that comes out I mean they just they just relentless with it so you know just like in any 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 time in the crypto space I think this is just a time you know where things have gone wrong uh, but when you know we've had this a time like this before and we've eventually matured and, and moved on for it and I think that's what's gonna happen but um, I am not concerned at all with uh, you know surviving <coughs> this this crypto you know meltdown that we're having per se um, just being in the drip faucet and being in animal form because I believe both of those are going to be the key to the financial future uh, You know financially be financially free in the future and I think that you know st uh, Stick it with them long term. I mean I said this in previous videos. I'm not going to bet against Forex um, And then even Forex uh, so in this AMA and shout out uh, you know for doing these AMA recaps so just absolutely amazing, but uh, Forex didn't mention that you know as as all this stuff is going on right now, you know, he's still thinking about bettering the platform. So he had met with a uh, casino developer and interested in some casino games. Um, so he said poker was one that he was interested in. So that's sort of new there. Um, and then, you know, I just want to remind everybody. So, and this is coming straight from Forex. Uh, we will be able to release a new product every month for the next two years. I mean that is absolutely huge there's so much development behind the scenes and so much going on I understand right now the times are not the greatest for not only drip but the entire crypto space but we will like always we have always bounced back and came back even stronger regardless of you know what has happened and the, the future is never guaranteed you know I could say that now it could go to zero tomorrow but this is just something I believe I believe in and I believe that uh, in, in Forex and I believe in these these platforms and um, I say that because this is coming from somebody who were who was in other platforms who you know I, I just somewhat you know I never really stuck to one I always bounced around and 
you know it was during the time where they had all the rebase tokens and just all the bad stuff going on so i never really stuck to a platform but looking at drip i mean this is this is the first platform where i feel comfortable saying you know i'm i'm in it to win it we go up to 100 we go down to two cents i will still be here making youtube videos and talk to you guys about drip in the animal farm so i'm um, just sharing sharing my experiences and these are all my opinions obviously i'm not a financial advisor but uh, I just want to throw that out there. So no, I am not concerned about this crypto meltdown. Uh, we've seen stuff like this in the past, maybe not on this level as big, but uh, at the end of the day, you know, I think that we will be just fine, especially being in the, you know, being in Drip and the Drip network, uh, because regardless of all what's going on on the outside, we're all still getting that one percent daily uh, that we all love. Now, uh, Forex did also talk about because um, I guess they had, and this is an interesting point. It was very, at the very top here. Um, they talked. He talked about, uh, you know, just some being hardened away from like any type of. Um, you know regulation or anybody trying to come up with regulation or doing anything like that so um he did mention you know the that the drip network and just all the platforms really have been designed sort of in a sense to be hardened against anything like that so um you know they don't have any 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 centralized individual that they can go to um forex has said this previously in uh previous amas too that he can literally walk away and the drip network and animal farm will perform you know as usual so um yeah and here's one of the one of the things he says so we are largely untouchable even in the case that regulation does tighten we've always been very careful uh, to not do some of the stumbling blocks uh where they're taking centralized control of the capital and making investment decisions for the user uh, skirting the line of the securities laws and we've always been very careful to stay away from that our projects are the furthest from the gray area that you can be and we are hardened against any one attack vector so um, good to know so I mean all the more reason why to feel more comfortable and safe in the drip network um, you know, I, I mean, I've been in, I've had, I use Coinbase, I had a Coinbase account and some of those centralized exchanges and, you know, I believe DeFi is the future and DeFi is the way to be, um, you know, um, granted in the DeFi space, we have some projects that were, you know, uh, not exactly scam proof or the ones out there trying to take the money. But beyond that, I think that we will do, uh, DeFi is going to be, uh, going to mature and then we're going to have projects that are going to be here for the long run. And I believe the drip network and the animal farm are definitely those so uh let me know down in the comments and if you guys get a chance uh, i just sort of did some skimming on this but check out these ama notes i think it's awesome they put them up here so um you know let me know in the comments what you guys think um you know how do you plan on surviving this as we're as we're sort of going through it right now what's your strategy i like to hear that it'll be pretty curious to hear what your take on it is so uh anyway that's the video for today hope you guys like it please comment like subscribe at the very bottom i appreciate your time and i will see you on the next one